let's even dig the hole deeper, right? This is one hadith that I think um, uh, some people have probably heard that, um, and this is oftentimes mentioned in, in um, oration, in stories, in bayans, that when Adam committed the sin of approaching the forbidden tree, he said, O Lord, I beg of thee to forgive me due to the right of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, over you. So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is supposed to have said that, oh, Adam, do you know that Muhammad, how did you know that Muhammad, uh, about Muhammad, saying that I have not yet created him? And then Adam replied that, O Lord, when you created me with your own hands and blew in me your soul, I raised my head there, thereupon I saw on the pillar of your throne, there is la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, right? Written on it. There, I therefore know that you wouldn't have mentioned someone else's name or someone's name beside yours unless he was the most beloved person to you in the whole of your creation. So Allah said to him, O Adam, you have spoken rightly. Verily, he is the most loved by me of all, of all by, uh, my creation. Call upon me by his right over me, and I'll forgive you. And if it wasn't for Muhammad, they wouldn't have created you. So Allah said. Now there is, you know, you see a lot of like falsehood and, 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 and truth in the same story. The idea that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not have created the universe if he had, was not going to create the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is in, in meaning true. I mean, this whole system Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the scholars will argue that there's truth in that statement. But is it a hadith? And is this story true? No, there's no evidence. There's la asla la who the scholars say that they have found no sanad for it. But you, you hear this very commonly in obviously good intention, praise of the Prophet. In praise of the maqam and the status of the Messenger of Allah. Similarly, there's a hadith. I was just asked on Friday about this. It sounds nice too. Right? If it wasn't for you, I would not have created the universe um, or the heavens or the cosmos. It's not a hadith. Right? But that, does that mean that the meaning is not justifiable? Yeah. That's a different issue. But uh, this is something that you commonly hear. Not true. Um, some of the forgeries I, I referred to before, there shall arise a, a man from amongst my nation by the name of Muhammad Idris, Idris, and he will be more detrimental to my nation than Iblis. Who's meant to rhyme? Right? And then, this, so again, this is like, you know, uh, partisan extremism or madhabi extremism. There shall also arise a man from among my followers by the name of Abu Hanifa. He will be the light of my nation. Right? This does not do a service to the Hanafi madhab or Imam Abu Hanifa. Imam Abu Hanifa would be appalled by this. And then the other way around, those ahadith that insulted Abu Hanifa but that were fabricated by Shafi's, Imam Shafi would be, would, would be insulted by it. He would disown a person who would do that. Right? This is something that is not doing a service to any of these madhabs, but they were forgeries that were that found their way in the books. This hadith that I mentioned, you know, the tafakkur sa'at and the contemplation for a moment is better than the worship of 60 years, also fabrication, right, a forgery, false attributions. The fast of the day, Arafah, is like the fast of 60 years. Anyone heard this one before? I, you know, there are a lot of these long, big books that have like hundreds and thousands of fabrications. I didn't, I had to comb through them last night thinking like, what if people heard it's very hard because some people have heard certain fabrications, some people have not, you know. Um, so you may not have heard these, but I have heard these ones before, so that's why I included them. The scholars of my nation are like the prophets of Banu Israel. Anyone heard this one? Yeah, fabrication, it's a forgery. Um, marry and do not divorce, for verily Allah's throne shakes upon the occurrence of a divorce. No? Usually when uh, parents want to discourage their daughters from seeking a divorce when they're in a very tough situation. I've actually heard that they'll be told statements like this, right? And they, then they, they remain in very, very bad and harmful marriages as a result. 